Cruising down the street in my six fall. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Chase Vogler channel. Mark for twenty dollars cash. Blue Speed School Speed Stick Mark Rose Edition. I paid twenty bucks for it. I got it on sale, and I would buy this all day long. Originally, it retails for ninety dollars. Um, it went down to forty. I watched it, and they had one left. And uh, they had it down to 20, so I went in there and picked it up. I've caught a couple fish on it. I've been using it for mainly some slow baits, but I started using it for some uh, moving baits. Right here, I got a Kitex Wing Impact Texas rig right there. I've been using that. Square bills. This is one of the square bills I've been throwing. It's just a Strike King 2.5 chartreuse black back color. Little jerk baits. And I'll throw in a clip right now of me catching a fish on this bait. What I've been doing to catch these fish is fishing up along the bank. Okay, so this jerk bait caught me the most fish. It's an inexpensive jerk bait. I'll leave the link down in the description below. I think this bait costs three dollars. It's a nice little crop pad over the orange bottom. Gives it a nice crop minimum tissue. Uh, this tackle warehouse. Uh, it's a good bait. F fish and floral carbon in Visex by Seagull Line. Strand 12 pound mono. That's my back. I got 30 pound PP braid, which is Power Pro. That's my main line. And then I got a 12 pound Invisix fluorocarbon leader. But I don't have any braid on it right now because I broke off and all I got on it right now is backing. So, yeah. And if you don't know what backing is, it's your farthest line back. I use, I run three different lines and I got this new, uh, knot that I use called the dot knot to connect all my lines. Rod is a 6'6 medium heavy fast action speed stick rod. It's a 7 1 to 1 gear ratio speed spool. It only has 5 ball bearings in it but that's okay. It's got your it's got your brake system over here your star drag and then your line tension. Is this real? Power handle, star drag, line tension. You got your spool release over here. You got your spool, your actual spool release right there. Um, you got this. I, f I keep forgetting what it's called. Your line mover. Um, your uh, lose logo. And then you have your brakes. I keep mine pretty loose. That's how I like it. The rod's pretty sick rod. This is the rod with no reel on it. This is the reel without the rod. Pretty simple. You slide your reel in, put that over, and you know, you should know how to tighten that on there. 